Hi, it's Marieta. Thanks so much for tuning in. In this video, I want to cover why I believe that EB5 visa is not the perfect solution for aspiring investors and entrepreneurs. And what is the number one solution I would go to if I am entrepreneur, immigrant entrepreneur, someone seeking to obtain a green card through investment. Stick around. Coming up. All right, guys, if you are new here, welcome. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell so you're notified when I release new content. In this video, I want to focus on why I believe personally EB5 visa is not the perfect way to go for aspiring investors and entrepreneurs. And I also want to propose my solution for those who are entrepreneurs, business owners, and investors. So, number one, people always come to me with this question Do I qualify for E2 visa? if I'm not able to invest 1.8 million or below 900,000. And because E2 is similar to EB5, you have to understand the differences. E2 is a non-immigrant visa. You can invest anywhere from 100,000 to half a million. Some cases I have helped people who invested below 100,000. So remember, this is non-immigrant visa. It's not a green card. EB5 is a green card, PR. It leads to a citizenship. So with E2, you don't have to invest large investment. With EB5, you have to invest 1.8 million or 900,000. I made a video where I did talk about the requirements. I will link those videos here for you. Now, why I believe there is a better way, better way, especially for those who maybe are under E2 visa right now, or for those who actually don't want to have E2 visa and they right away want to get a green card. I believe that EB-5 is not the solution because number one, with EB-5, you need to create 10 full-time positions. So if you are investing directly into your enterprise, the minimum requirement is 1.8 million. You have to hire also 10 full-time people. This has to happen within span of, I believe, two years. Yes, two years. And then your, the condition will be removed. So. If you're someone like me, and I like to think outside of the box, these days we can automate many things. You don't need to have full-time people working for you, 10 full-time people. Then you're probably looking for alternative options. Number two, what if you don't have 1.8 million? Well, in that case, you need to invest 900,000 and usually people are investing into regional center projects. Guess what? The regional center projects will expire at the end of June. I made a video. However, there was a new proposed bill extending into 2026. I will be linking here video for you. You can check it out. Anyway, I personally don't believe the best way to invest my money, $900,000, is a regional center project. Why? Number one, you are losing control. You don't really control anything. You just give the money away and you don't even know if there is a return on investment. So that's reason number one. And reason number two is many of these projects are actually failing. They're subject to fraud. So I personally, if I was you, I would not want to do that with my money. Number three, if you're coming from countries like China or India, most of these applicants are from these countries. I have attended personally many, many conferences and workshops um, specifically on immigration in China. And all these communities are focused on EB-5. And yet EB-5 is kept. 10,000 visas per year. So that being said, backlogs, especially for people from those countries. So those are three main reasons why I would not focus on EB-5. Instead, what I do with my clients, usually we go from the idea to actual business incorporation and then creation of the business under E2 visa category. For those who are interested, more about E2 visa requirements and so on, I have a free training below this video. Free webinar, you can learn everything you need to know about E2 visa. So first we get them situated under E2. It's a fast process. Within six months, you're done with your business, you're in the United States, you're running, operating a business. Then we focus on scaling, growing the company. And then we transition to EB2 national interest waiver. This, in my opinion, is way better solution for those who are entrepreneurs, aspiring immigrants, entrepreneurs, investors, because again, number one, you don't have to hire 10 full-time people. Number two, you don't have to invest 1.9 million. Number three, you are not losing control over your funds. You can in fact invest with less. I have helped people who invested half a million, 600,000, 700,000, and they were able to establish business that is actually purpose-driven, profitable, they are in full control, and they were able to obtain EB2. And guess what? I'm one of them. 
actually my story is based in this path like I went from that um that that obviously the the student I graduated in Northwestern University School of Law in Chicago F1 visa then E2 visa then growing the company and then EB2 national interest waiver so it's not for everyone I'm not gonna lie to you obviously you have to meet the requirements but that's why I'm here for so I can actually brainstorm with you and we can create a perfect strategy how this can work for you not only you are going to save at least one million dollars but also you're going to have full control and obviously once you have control over your your status of your green card of your company you have full control of your future in other words you have full control of your American dream so I hope you enjoyed this video if you want to dig deeper I want to invite you for my free webinar training link is below my video and if you have any comments questions you can post them below and if you need to brainstorm and discuss more details with me below this video you will also find a way to actually book a consultation with me one-on-one -on -one, so we can talk about how I can help you to actually truly live your American dream. Thank you so much for tuning in, stay tuned for my upcoming videos and I will talk to you soon. Have a great day, bye-bye.